Hi everybody, this is Jason, the life science educator and science outreach manager and overall art dude of the Children's Museum Houston. And right now we are in our dog days of summer wonder week. And because of that, I'm going to show you how to make a Salvador Dali melting clock. First, let me tell you just a little bit about Salvador Dali. He was a surrealist painter who actually didn't die too long ago. He died in 1989, so I was alive when he was still alive and doing work. So I was lucky enough to kind of have that kind of sort of not connection with him, but I knew of him even as a young child, him doing work. And his most famous probably piece of art is what's called the persistence of memory which is a painting he did where within this desert landscape he has these clocks sitting on ledges and they appear to be melting just like how our memories sort of melt away so that's what surrealist art is it's taking like things that we know a lot about and turning them a little bit askew like we take it and we kind of through a statement of how we turn it askew, it becomes this surrealistic piece of art. Now, right here, I've made a couple of melting clocks out of clay. This I used out of clay, wet clay, that I actually did in a kiln. And as you can see, the surrealism I kind of put into this is I sort of like folded it and, and it's not a perfect sort of um, disc. It's got bumps and whatnot. Uh, if you look at my numbers, like the number eight, I made more like an infinity symbol and the number 10 I made like a kind of like a B or a D. Uh, the numbers aren't even, they're kind of all over the place. The 12 and the one are way too close together. It looks like the hands here are like the snakes, uh, are like snakes. So like one hand is uh, blue, the minute hand, the hour hand is this pinkish color. So I'm at 12 affinity, not 1208 if you will. The paint itself is kind of melting just like the clock is melting. So those are the things that you can do to make it look surrealistic. And why are we doing this during the dog days of summer? Because that's when it's hot. So saying a clock that's melting would actually seem accurate right now. So you can do it this way if you have a kiln. If you can actually fire it and make it like a piece of ceramic pottery. You can use acrylic paints, you do all kinds of different brushes, that's cool to do. Now I know a lot of you won't have um, wet clay in kilns, so what you can do instead is you can use uh, air dry clay like this one over here and sort of balance it onto like a bowl and get that melting look going. Uh, you can add like a border if you want, you can do another kind of hour hand, and you can carve in the um, numbers using something as simple as um, a, a popsicle stick or a knife or anything like that. Now here's the problem though with the air dry clay and I kind of like don't mind this because it makes it sort of surrealistic in its own way. When I lifted the air dry clay one, it cracked out. Okay, so when I'm doing it now, it looks kind of like that, where like part of the clock is melting one way and part of the clock is melting the other way. But that in itself is also sort of surrealistic. It like, still doesn't look like a clock would normally look like. And it has that idea of surrealism again with the eight being an infinity um, and things like that. So this one I have yet to paint because I just wanted to show you basically all you have to do to paint it. The way I painted mine was I basically just dropped the paint onto it like that and then I just took my brush and I started painting around just like that and I painted the numbers after everything dried so I just started painting over everything and just let the paint let the clock itself be my uh, easel or my palette so there you go so you can just paint it any way you like very simply like that okay so that's how you make a melting clock. One thing is I know a lot of people are perfectionists. You do not have to be perfect. You don't have to make a perfect circle. You don't have to roll it out. You don't have to do anything like that. You can just create anything you want. Just make it look enough like a clock so that we know it's a clock. And if you do this, I would love to see your melting clocks. That would be really exciting for me. So if you're making a clock like this with the air dry or with the wet uh, clay, go ahead and take a picture of it or a video of your process. I wanna see how yours is different than the ones I made. If you do do that, go ahead and drop it on our social media sites. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we have it all. 
Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When you hit that button, you'll get access to all of our videos and notifications when they go up. Our science videos, our art videos, our story times, our Mr. Oh Wow moments, our tater tot tot tunes, everything you want. With that, I'm gonna say goodbye. I do hope to see you at the museum soon because we are open now. And I hope everyone has a great day. 